referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. I obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, kick the punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. A real crackle of anticipation around the place. That's what this fella brings. People turn out just to get a, get a close-up of Anthony Joshua. A real sense that we are looking at a future superstar in British boxing. Already scaled the summit as an amateur with the Olympic gold medal. Can he repeat the trick as a professional? And he's up against Dennis Baxoff, who once held this title, the WBC International Heavyweight title, back in 2001. That was his ninth professional fight. And Dennis, for Anthony tonight, this is his ninth professional fight. Physically just so imposing. 16 stone 12 on the scales yesterday, Jim. Backed off doing a nice little job of just slipping and missing those long jabs. Backed off tends to stick around. I mean, he's never been got out of there inside before four rounds. And he's only failed to go the distance once since 2005. That was against Manuel Shah, and that was on a hand injury as well. So he knows how to look after himself. And that's what Joshua needs. He needs some rounds. He needs an opponent who can make him miss. Yeah, it was eventually he's going to need some competitive rounds at the moment uh, Baktov doesn't know how to get close yeah, this could be big trouble for Baktov already as Joshua's catching him early the crowd's caught fire as well and Baktov knows he's in a fight he's shaken up Jim the legs don't look good landed a right hand there Baktov a little shake of the head as if they are all right and Joshua smiles right back at him Joshua's quickest win 83 seconds back at Wembley Stadium against Matt Legg but he's caught and hurt this fella already. Well, I mean, you have to compare Josh's performance so far with the recent performances against Baktov, and this is terrific. You know, he's not moving into punch, you know, close enough to get countered. He's getting these punches on without a the eye, down the left, eye. the left eye. Cut there as well. I mean, Baktov is an experienced guy, and he was trying to find a way to get close to Joshua, and while he was thinking about that, you know, you get thumped with the jab, then the big right hand, and Joshua is picking the punches beautifully at the moment. Well, he made that, he made him miss with that first jab, didn't he, back to I thought, oh, we've got someone who's going to be a bit clever and cute here. And then once Joshua tagged him, you could see he was in trouble. Missing there, Joshua, and then back off, tries to land something himself, can't get close. All the time. That definitely a special talent in the heavyweight division. Oh, oh, look at that counter right hand as well. He loved it. Back top didn't. He's taking it over. Joshua smiling again. Sharp, nasty little short inside left hand there as well. Back top with another left hand. Caught. And Joshua grinning from ear to ear as he's tagging a very experienced and capable opponent here in Dennis. Back top. And full credit to Baktov, these are the punches that have finished the eighth opponents already, he's still in there, can't make any impression whatsoever, but he's taken his, his medicine, so he's proved his toughness getting through that round, that was a huge round for Joshua. And an absolute disastrous round for Baktov. Yep, I mean, he was actually smiling halfway through the round. He would land a big shot. He would see the acknowledgement from Baktov and he would smile back. Not getting close enough for Baktov to be able to do anything. And while Baktov was thinking about the little counter, and out comes the tongue. They both knew that was a beauty. That was a terrific. That's as good a round as I've seen from Joshua. That really was impressive. Corner, 10 seconds. Second down, round two. That first round was about as competitive as a bullfight. Everything but the red cape for Anthony Joshua in there at the moment. Round two then, Joshua has never been past three. Backtop has never been stopped inside four. It's scoring judges. Don't think we'll be needing them. 
Well, you know, he's not just thinking about power, Joshua. He's thinking about his skills as well. You don't want to oh, take it on yet. Perfect right hand. This guy's experienced, and that's what's keeping him in there. And backed off, really giving it a go, trying to tag him back. But again, just too sharp and too powerful from Joshua, who's slicing into ribbons here. And Ian John Lewis might have a job to do because backed off is so brave, he's standing up to this. But he is getting pounded, and Ian John Lewis did absolutely the right thing because backed off. Oh, he's letting it go on. Well, I thought he was stopping it. He should be. And he will. And he has. He, he was cutting into shreds, wasn't he? Yep, and, and he took nothing back in the process. He's always thinking what he's doing. And just tremendous natural power. Full credit to Baktov, he didn't quit. He took his bumps, he tried to fire back. OK, we're looking at a man at the end of a long 15-year career. But these, these are the punches that, that were flooring the previous eight of Joshua's opponents. This guy was taking them and still trying to get himself back into the fight. This is the point when the, the, the fight should really have been stopped there. Said box on, but thankfully he had a good look at backed off, as you can see. A couple more shots, then in he goes. One more decent punch, and he called it off. Terrific performance. And you saw the reaction from backed off as well. No complaints, no argument. He was glad to be out of there. Oh, this really was impressive from Joshua tonight. There's just no two ways about it. Backtoff was brought in because he's durable and capable and can look after himself. And he looked like a little kid in there against Anthony Joshua.